Today, I am so excited that I get to spend the day with Barbara McLaughlin, who is going to give us a tour of her fabulous New York City home, plus show us some of her favorite Upper East Side spots. Allison, hey. Hi, Barbara. I see you're already decorating for the holidays. Oh, I am. Come on in. I'll show you what I've done so far. I can't wait to see. This already looks so festive. Barbara welcomes us into her family's beautiful home where she and her husband, Kevin, the co-founder of Jay McLaughlin, raised their two children. She shares her favorite holiday traditions and shows us around the neighborhood for the best sandwiches, shopping, and so much more. Enjoy this episode of Talk of the Town, presented by Jay McLaughlin and Homeworthy. We are so thrilled to be here with you today to get a little tour of your home and to hear all of your tips and tricks for the holidays. Tell us where we are right now in this beautiful townhouse. Right now we are in our main entrance and as you can see we love color. When we walk in we've got our bright green walls and although as I say I love color this is a kind of a neutral space that we could change up when we need to, especially during the holidays. Okay, so tell us about this holiday tradition that you have so with Christmas cards. We call it, Yes, we call it the card wall. I'm a big Christmas card sender and receiver. And so when they come in, my, my mother used to hang ribbons and she'd have the cards on the ribbons and hang them around the house. But I've taken it a step further. I just hang them right on the, do on the, on the wall. And the first card that comes in always goes right here. And then it just, covers this whole room. So the whole room, when I walk in, it's just my friends. They're all saying, hey, hello, Barb. hey Barb, <laughs> welcome home. Last year, I put all of our cards from the very first one, which is this one where we didn't have children and we were just dogs. They're not in order, but this is the first one. And I had these up above them. Um, I put them in order and put them over the um, cooktop in the kitchen, so which this was is, fun to see. This is your card from what, like this was 30 our card. years ago? Yeah. <gasps> Yep. Oh my yep. gosh. And they've evolved. They and now they've have evolved. people in they them. They now have people in them. Yep. And this section, my friend Diana designed these cards for me and they all looked like this. And then Madeline started making an appearance, but it was always with the dogs. And then I have a, a period of Patricia Van Esch did wonderful sketches. I love that. The animal print carpet leads us upstairs and goes all the way to the fifth floor. Same with this treatment of the walls. Which we're going to go up in a little bit. Yes. But do you feel that leopard or animal print is a neutral? Totally. Totally. And it hides any kind of stain that, you know. Imaginable. Imaginable. We Lots had of parties. Don't dogs for many years. Line. Dogs. Uh, no, nothing. This, these stairs have seen it all. And, and look at that, how good they are. So we're going to go upstairs, yeah, and we're going to see your fabulous collection. Yep, work in progress. I love that you call it Santa's Workshop. It is Santa's Workshop. I love this. I love all the preparations as much as I love the holiday itself. This is a stunning room. It's such a pretty room. It's such a pretty room. Is this where you spend most of your time? Yes. To be honest, we actually always talk about how we spend a lot of time in the kitchen, but we lately we've been making an effort. We come up here and this is my chair, this is Kevin's, and we'll come and sit at the end of the day. We'll put on our George Winston music and it's have a drink and it's a calming kind of segue into the evening. Well, it's such a cozy room. But it's even, cozy, yes. Even though the ceilings are high, it's so warm. How mm -hmm. have you accomplished that feeling? Just mixing our art and all the different patterns and the, and the color and the tree, of course. Talk to me a little bit, Barbara, about how you have mixed um, artwork and prints and patterns. How do you do that? Just by combining things that we like, not in a thought out, methodical way. You Kevin think? is the finder and I'm the arranger. Oh, I love That's that. That's our re agreement. He's the, the hunter gatherer. Look at all of these unbelievable ornaments. Tell me about this collection. Uh, it has just been, since I was, going on since I was a child. I mean, some of these, like I had, these, when I was a little girl, and I'm not a little girl anymore, so these are old. <laughs> but these ornaments They were, have patina. Uh, they have a lot of patina. This is a more recent acquisition. It's a little glass of rosé or something? Yes, it is. <laughs> so just like the decor of the room, nothing on the tree has to match. Oh, no. Nothing. Nothing. And every one of them, I mean, I'm always on the lookout for ornaments, so they are just so much fun and I love to unpack them every year. So you continue to collect? Continue, all the time. The vintage the, Santa. The six-year-old Santa, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Tell us about this fabulous area over here. Well, that is the, the Jones Wood Garden and we are so lucky to live in a, in a, a common garden. We share it with, with um, 12 neighbors. There's six houses on this side and six houses on 66th Street. 
and in the in the middle is a common garden. So even though we're in the middle of Manhattan, the middle right, of New York City. Right, this is an oasis, and it's only accessible through the, uh, one of our houses. So you really know all your neighbors? Yes, we do. And I am imagining in the warm months, these doors are flung are open. Are open, and people are outside. We, you know, can entertain out, out there, which, every, you know, people do from time to time, and it's, it's very nice. It's very peaceful. Barbara, obviously you love the holidays. That's quite love the holidays, yeah. clear. <laughs> what do the holidays mean to you? They really, I love all the crazy hustle and bustle. I love all the preparations. I love all of that. But the real, what I really love is that it's a, is a time to um, spend time with family and friends and really savor that. And decorate the tree together. Well, and decorate, yes, we can do that in many ways. But it's really, you know, I, it's just a time to see everybody, celebrate them, and Get, you know, get together, to gather. To gather. To gather, it's really, that's what it is. I gather that. with family and friends. So how often do you uh, have a fire here? Do you sit here with the fire we or? We all sit here, yeah, we do, we have a lot of wood, so we gotta work through, we gotta work through it. But if we're feeling lazy, we light the hearth, we light our hearth candle. Wait, so what is a hearth candle? The hearth candle, well, I have a couple holiday scents, but one of them is this one, a nest candle, and if you take a whiff, it smells like oh my gosh. fire. I know. It's, Who needs a real fire when right, you have it? Right, exactly. And all you do is blow it out and you don't have to worry about it. Anything. Oh my gosh. There's no shortage of decorations in here aside from the tree. How have you done your mantle? Every year I do something different and this year I love collecting trees of all sorts. So these are a variety of trees that I've had for years. This is the other, the, the silver version of the ones downstairs. The gold have yet to be placed and who knows where they'll be this year. So I just added all of them in and one of this is one of, I think Madeline made this. So we've got. So you do mix in the homemade. Oh yeah, totally. My other secret decorating tip is drugstore garland. I, I have tried using real garland and that, you know, gets dry and then of course I worry about the fire and everything and cut them up and then I store them in bags That's and so put them fun. out of here. So you'll see that in my hurricane lamps at the base of the hurricane lamps and then just filled in around here too. It's like a bit of whimsy. It, yeah. And it, but it also, with, looks like a little like a little greenery it's, it looks greenery and festive like greenery and festive all right so from okay. the living room we Going are heading into, the, into library. the library yes so the, the dried out the dried alliums that i learned about in christopher spitz miller's book these were all out in the garden and when they finished blooming i clipped them and put them in these vases to dry them and ultimately he suggested spray painting them, which I did last year. And I, you can see some in the other room because I liked them so much, I never took them down. So I'm going to ultimately spray paint them, but I kind of like them the way they are. So this is your library. Tell us what you have done with the space. So I am noticing a the, painted floor. Yes, the, this, is a, this is a painted floor and the wall, I mean, everything is actually everything's painted in here. And the ceiling is wallpaper though. The ceiling is not paint. Gosh, but you have not forgotten the ceiling. Oh no, not forgotten the ceiling. Is that another tip? Don't forget the ceiling. Yes, that is a tip. And I, it's a I, tip now. That's a tip now. I, yeah, exactly. I was just thinking I, I, a friend had done it and I copied it. So. <laughs> no, I mean I, they call it what the fifth wall to have the the that's ceiling. That's very true. And it, it and the and the sparkling. I love anything with a little bit of a sparkle into it. So it's a it's a gold wallpaper. Your Christmas traditions continue downstairs, right? Yep. Time You're, to talk about food. Okay, so where are we going? Dining room. And you're gonna take the, the elevator. Look at this. Do you ride this often? Sometimes, but mostly it's laundry and luggage. Is oh. there a light in there? Yeah, there's a light in there, and then there's a phone. Oh, can you get this? <laughs> <laughs> and it works. It's the it's the kind where like kids now I'm not sure would know how to use the phone like where it's the, it's a rotary phone. A rotary. I'll call you if I get stuck. See you down there. Bye, Barbara. Bye. I beat you. Oh, the slow moving elevator. And we're in your wonderful dining room. So set for set for Christmas. Tell us how you've set this table. Well, I always use this Mary Meckle fabric and I and the spode. It's all for me the holidays are always about this uh, spode china that my got from my mother and I've been collecting it ever since. So where do you find all of this china? From everywhere? From everywhere. She gives it to me for Christmas time and I also am on the lookout. Um, the, you know, wine glasses and you'll see in the kitchen, I have a lot of different things. So it's not just so, the plates, it no, is? No, it's, it's. Oh my gosh. And, and then these is... candlesticks I found recently. Um, 
a couple years ago. And these uh, candles that my brother-in-law Jay gave to me. Set the scene for me on the holidays. What is it, what is it like in here? Well, it's usually the family. And then we'll go to Florida after the holidays, but we like to spend Christmas by ourselves, what we call the inner family, and having our traditional holiday food, which is the Swedish meatballs that come from um, Minnesota, special recipe. A friend brings them to me, and um, and rice pudding. And those are your two things, which we're two things talk we always about. have. We have other things, but those are two things that are your specialties. Specialties, and no holiday is complete at the McLaughlin House without them. And the decorations exactly. continue. You have no shortage, so. Yeah, so I'm always filling in little things. Um, you know, no surface is unadorned. So our architect, Doug Larson, knows that I have a lot of stuff. And he made all of these closets for me. And then the best is over here in the corner. Oh my god. It's gosh. not exactly ready for its close up because the other thing that. Dur that I've been working from home a little bit more these days, and so this has become a bit of an office situation too. So the dining room table was my office for many months. So it's but dishes and jam and... That's your famous jam. So I've got the store of storing the jam there. Another holiday tradition that we can never... Those are so good. As soon as these appear in the paper source, I start stocking up. That's your guilty, guilty pleasure. pleasure. Well, that and the uh, peppermint haagen also stocking up. Like no, but it's a great kitchen. I mean, no, it's a great, I love it. But it also is, it doesn't get like a kitchen for the neighbors. So we're in your kitchen, Barbara. Is this where you spend most of your time? Right here. This is it. What are the, the phrase is the heart of the home? This is the heart of the home. Totally. And we've got the, the back doors open and, you know, can step out. Okay, so here we are. We have so two here we are. We, famous holiday traditions. Yes, the rice pudding, my mother's recipe. Everyone in my family makes it. <laughs> and this is the famous and my original. Mother, yes, I think she made cards for all of us. And it's on a little... Uh, on a loon, on a Minnesota loon. Which is where you're from. Which is where I'm from, so. So what makes this so special? Well, I feel like we need to try it's it. It's so good. First, I have to put the nutmeg on on the top. It's either nutmeg or cinnamon. I prefer the nutmeg. Oh my gosh. It's just a little dressing. And we eat it with the meal. You eat it with dinner? It's not a... It's, it's not, not a dessert. <gasps> no, 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 no. We have many other things for dessert. <laughs> this goes right alongside Christmas and Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It is good. Well, I think we need to try it. I think we do. <gasps> okay. What's on your Christmas wish list? Well, spode serving. 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 Yes, spode serving piece. Kevin, are you listening? <laughs> oh my gosh. I've done it again. Yeah, a success. <laughs> so good. It's foolproof? Mm-hmm. These are also a specialty. What's the, the story? Well, the story is Inga Brutzen's um, Nordic market, Scandinavian market in Minneapolis sells all manner of, of um, Scandinavian delicacies. Lutefisk, which I also enjoy, but don't serve because nobody else seems to enjoy it. <laughs> um, but Swedish meatball, Swedish sausage, lefse. But the Swedish meatball mix is uh, their special recipe, and we can only buy it there, and they don't ship it. So, I so have, how do you get it? Well, in the beginning, I had a, my sister would come when we spent the holidays out in Long Island. She would carry it in her luggage, and my dear, dearest friend Melinda would um, comes with it every year she visits. So you're and telling me- And she packages it up, puts it in her luggage, and transports it. So every year, for every like 30 year. some years, you've never missed a year. We never miss a year, nope. Well, this is a really devoted friend. It's a devoted friend, yes. Swedish meatball carrier. So it, the holidays are not the same without these meatballs? No. And, and I've got a freezer full of them downstairs now. Even your kitchen is decorated. Exactly. This is my kitchen mantle. And um, every season, I change that out. Last year, we used cards, starting with our very first card when we only had dogs. So there were two dogs in the picture, and I ran them all the way down. I've run out of room, so I couldn't do it this year. They've been replaced by reindeer. They've been replaced by reindeer and some trees that I had. Do you decorate this little stove mantle every season? Every season changes, yeah. So where are we going now, Barbara? Now I'm starving, so we're gonna go get a, eat, eat here now, get a sandwich. Okay, so tell us about this famous diner where we're going. 
It's a cozy neighborhood spot where they, they know our favorite uh, lunch spots. The whole family goes here. Kevin picks up his coffee and breakfast in the morning. I come here and get sandwiches. Hugh and his friends come for breakfast on when he has when he has friends in from the uh, coming home for the weekend. And, and no they get frill. up later and no frills. You know, if they get up too late for me to serve. And my sister was just visiting. We all went there. Oh my gosh, they know we you visit. all by they name. Know, they know the, it's the family, it's the family diner. What do you love most about this neighborhood, Barbara? The accessibility. Every, it's close to the park. It's, it's got all of the, um, it's got great shops. We've got the new place here, Bella Me on the corner. Wonderful coffee. William Wayne for, shop, for shopping. Great for the well, ho great for holiday, yeah. great for holiday shopping. But you know what's so special about your home is that you walk outside and you know that you're yep. in New York City, but when you're in your home, you could be in the English countryside. Yep, it's quiet and yep, and then you step out and here it all is. But when you're there, it's a quiet respite that just feels like a cozy family home. Yep. Is this another favorite this local is haunt? This definitely another favorite. We love Donahue's, all of us. What's the favorite thing on the menu? Burgers. Okay, lunchtime. Hey Veronica, how are you? My usual, the turkey sandwich. With bacon. With bacon, avocado, butter, butter. on the bread, okay. fried toast, and no, you know what? Thank what you is so the much. you know what? Mayo. <laughs> no mayo. No mayo, anywhere near it. That was fast. And they're fast. They probably saw me walking down the street and started <laughs> to make it. I don't order anything else, so it, it's a pretty safe bet. Okay, so Barbara, you are the president for the Fund for Park Avenue. Yes, I am, yes. And one of your many responsibilities includes making sure there are over 100 Christmas trees lining Park Avenue for the holiday season. Right, right. These trees, though, they are um, memorial trees. They were lit first in 1945 by a group of Park Avenue families who wanted to honor their um, memories of the loved ones who they lost in World War II. And now today, I manage and fundraise for over 100 trees, as you said and they honor all that have died in our nation's wars. So tell us about where these trees come from. These fir trees come from Canada and are, and are put up by our crew of landscapers. And right now the electricians are working on putting, turning all the lights. All of the lights will pop up when? December 4th. There's a lighting ceremony that takes place out the, outside the Brick Presbyterian Church. And there's carols and there's taps and it's a wonderful family gathering. I've been, it's one of the happiest days of the year. It really is, it really is. And it's just such an iconic uh, sight to see. You know that the holidays are here when the Park Avenue trees exactly. have been Exactly, it's true. It's a wonderful, meaningful tradition and it all happens because of the generosity of our neighbors. Thousands of people come. It's really, it has to be seen to be believed. Hi, we're going to 93rd and Madison, please. See you at the store! Here we are! Ready for some holiday shopping. Let's do it. I feel like we're still in your home, but we're not, even though we're in this cozy corner. We're at the Madison Avenue J. McLaughlin store, um, but there's a reason why it feels so similar. Well, this was recently renovated, and it was renovated by Doug Larson, who was the architect of all the Jim McLaughlin stores, as well as on all of our personal projects. So you are a dynamic duo. We are a dynamic trio, <laughs> Doug, Kevin, and myself. And the other, another cozy similarity is our, the secret garden in the back. Well, one thing that one thing that is fun is I'm, I get a lot of um, text by with, from friends saying, "Look where I am! Look what I found!" They they are so surprised to find Jim McLaughlin. And just last week, a high school friend of mine sent me a picture of herself with, in the dressing room of the Hinsdale store with her dog. Where in, I don't even know where that is. It's outside, outside of Chicago. Oh my god. And her, it's a favorite of her dogs because Jay McLaughlin's very dog friendly and there are often biscuits behind the various uh, counters. So the dog led <laughs> the her dogs into knows the store. The dogs know where to go. And I think that's what's so special about the store mm -hmm. is that they're in places where there might not be other opportunities right. to find a fabulous outfit. And they know, and the, and the people that work in the stores, they know everybody and they make everyone, including the four-legged customers, feel very welcome. Well, every year I collect the Tartan J. McLaughlin pants and I have quite a good collection. This year I've gone with, the, this is the newest edition. I love this color. So I'm you. drawn, to, I'm drawn to it. So I, and sp anything sparkly. Look how great this is. Perfect. Again, glittery. Glittery, a pop of like. A pop of color. Metallic. Just what you need for the holidays. And oh, these, these are, are fun, fun because they've got the yellow. But these are kind of retro. Yep, exactly. 
comfy and bright. I think you should try it on. Well, I okay, wait, I'll try yeah, this one on. Yeah. I think the black I goes. think we should try these on. Okay. How do we look? My head feels warmer already. Mine too, we're ready to go outside. Exactly. Okay, well let's just wear these around the store now. I'm gonna keep it on, I'm gonna keep it on, but these gloves would make an excellent gift. Well, and who doesn't like a cashmere sweater? This is a collaboration with Stubbs and Wooten. Oh, I love that. Again, who doesn't need holiday socks? It's like the tartan pants. You get a new pair every year, you're gonna add to the holiday sock. That's a stocking stuffer. No, pun, no pun intended. Huh? Holiday shopping is easy here. In the com it's like in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> you're getting really good at this. <laughs> Another piece of my uniform are the, are the Arlette turtlenecks. I love them. And I like to, just as I collect the tartan pants, I like to get a new color. And this is what you're wearing today. Yeah, I'm wearing today, the stripes. But I also have my eye on the purple and turquoise. New colors this year. Well, I think this is a really festive sweater for a man. Definitely. Nice cashmere, very holiday Cheerful, theme. Cheerful, Cheerful color. color. And look what's beneath it. The sparkly Arlette. Now what? Now this is your favorite turtleneck. This is my favorite turtle. This is my favorite turtleneck by day, and here's my favorite turtleneck by night. Sparkle and tartan, and I'm ready to go. You need nothing else for the holidays. Nope, ready for the party. All right, love the gift bar, but Christmas shopping is not complete without a stop at the corner bookstore. the Brick Church's uh, annual tree lighting ceremony. And in a few short moments, there'll be carols and we'll hear taps to remind everybody about the history of the trees and the first tree will be lit. This is a night of families, families gathering. The streets are blocked from 86 to 96. People are in the street and with their families and friends and they come every year together. I'm here with my husband, Kevin, my children, Madeline and Hugh.